Welcome to Cummins Data Cave, where you can bolster up your IT skills. And if you like the way I talk about IT things, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And sometimes in Excel, you need to compare two lists. So for example, you need to check whether one item from one list exists in the other list. How can we do that? Because Excel is really a shrewd tool. So the workaround for that, not the best way in 2025, would be go to one list, like I have a list here, and I have some document IDs. And I have the other list where I have other document IDs. And I want to make sure which items exist in the other list. So for example, I want to make sure whether this item 8654 also exist in the second list. So what I could do, well, I could use, for example, additional column, I could utilize it to create a formula, I could use count ifs, I could use XLOOKUP, whatever. So for example, I could say, let's use this document ID from the list A, jump to list B, check in column A, if you can find the item there, well, just bring me the item. I want. I, I need to retrieve something. And if not found, let's just leave the cell empty. So I would have the cell empty because 8654 does not exist in the other list. If I double click, I can see, oh, there's this item 2671 that really exists in the other list. But it doesn't give me the option to check the other way around. I would need to go to the other list, repeat the process, which is not the most clever way. How can I do it in a different way? I created, let's say, a skeleton table here. So I have some numbering here, it's just a subsequent number from 1 to 300. I just need a spine from which I can attach another ribs. What I could do, I could create a formula here saying, well, you know what, let's look and I'm not going to select anything from the list in here. I'm going to go to my KDC005A list and say, I'm going to get this first ID and I'm going to look for that first ID in the other worksheet in document ID. If I find it, I can just fetch the item from there. If not, I can leave the cell empty. So it's going to be empty when I double click it. I'm going to see, oh, you know what? That's 2671 and there's also a number 1914. That means that in the list A, I have this item that exists also in list B. How to check it the other way around? So I want to make sure which item from list B exists in list A. So I'm going to work in a smart way. So I'm just going to copy my formula because the difference is going to be a really slight between these two formulas and I'm going to paste it. So what do I actually change? I just need to change that. I'm looking up the item from the B list in a list A, so worksheet A. So I just change the names of worksheet, just hit enter. And then when I double click it, I see which items really occur into list. So that way I have this all combined in one data range. And these solutions are not the only solutions. I'm going to show you in the future how to use the most clever way. So I'm going to use either Power Query or I'm going to use new array formulas. If you don't want to miss out on this, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. See you soon.